what what do you think are the most important traits of an assistant coach that you look for that you feel like this assistant coach is really next level what are what would you say pinpoint that stands out to you the um, most you know from my experiences i mean you know and you know i mean the, the coaches the assistant coaches are always kind of a kind of a link between the head coach and, and the players you know what what you don't want or i always start with what you want like what my experiences are and what i always liked with assistant coaches is that they are analytical that they can give you more information than the, the coach can because they can you know i don't know how di different coaching staffs work but you know i had situations where we had two or three coach uh, assistant coaches and those guys would then kind of split it in groups you know maybe some guy had big guys and wings and, and guards and stuff and it was always like you always want especially after games or in preparation of games go to these guys to get more information for me that was very helpful i was big on preparation always so for me it was very important to understand what I need to do, what my opponent might do, and, and, and things like this. That's what I was looking always in, in, in assistant coaches. What I didn't like with assistant coaches was that if I lost trust in them, meaning that I would go with them in a certain problem or a certain issue and talk to them, even confidentially if it had to be, and then I either found out or I heard or it was obvious that that got related to the coach and it backfired to me. And it wasn't about speaking back to a coach, but it was about some insecurities that I might have about certain play we did or about opponents or whatever or about the tactical preparation for you know and just kind of try to figure out if there's something we could change and we could do and then i would see that that would backfire because it would say ah you know we have some players complaining about this and that i was like it's not about that it's about trying to find the best way to work as a team and work individually so you you know i think the assistant coaches have a very important role because they are linked between the players and the coaches but they also need to keep that trust level extremely high i think it's extremely important and that's where these coaches can benefit and that's why you see in a lot of situations where assistant coaches are so popular that at some point we you know mostly with the same team then they become the head coach because the trust level was built early and it was sustained throughout the young assistant coach's career yeah you 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 broke it down excellent i think that I, and i've seen both i've seen it like you said like there and there's two paths for us just two two avenues for an assistant coach to have and to take and to be uh fluid and fluent and one of them is the analytical and the tactical side like you have to know you have to know your stuff and basically a robot can do that stuff as well like you just have to know you have to have watched enough games clips and break down you know the opponent you know the individual's weaknesses and you you can prepare each player for that the second avenue is a little bit more complicated because that's the personal side. Mm -hmm. And that's when you also, like the, the players, like the head coach is a little bit further out. So he's not always there. And the assistant coaches are always the ones that are, um, the players seek out uh, uh, during after practices or whatever. And you have to also, you have to have a filter for that. You have to have a feel, but you have to have a filter of which is, which information now do I need to keep to myself? How do I filter by protecting the player's information, but still filter out and give it, portray it to the coach as like a, a problem that could arise in a certain manner if we don't do this, this and that. But you, by, by protecting the identity of the player, but also by protecting the, the uh, withholding the information. So it's, it's a way of, of relaying because that information that you give to the, to the assistant coach is probably essential for the, for the team's success. But then the assistant coach has to think of how do I translate this and protect both sides, basically. Yeah, yeah you know, true. and it, that's a, a that's that's a riddle for a lot of a lot of coaches, assistant coach, because you have to have a, not only emotional intelligence but also uh, feel for feel just feel for for the person, you know, just having the, to um, to grasp the the significance of the information you just received. Oh, for sure, and. Um... A lot of times, you know, you know, we see assistant coaches as, as firemen, you know, putting down fires, you know, like trying to keep that smooth sailing going, you know, because, um, um, you know, they are trying to protect the coach. I, I assume I, I never was an assistant coach, but part of your job description, even though not officially, is trying to protect the coach. But also, you know, understanding players and trying to relay the right information in both in both ways. Sometimes coaches, head coaches, because of their position, they cannot really reach the player because they don't have that bond complete bond but assistant coaches do and that's why their role is extremely important and i think uh over the years i've seen that the assistant coaches role also in europe the importance of it has increased whereas mba has always been well when i say always i mean since my experiences 20 years ago or 15 years ago has been really high on 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 having assistant coaches approach players more and, and building that bond yeah and I, I witnessed that with quinn snyder when he was in moscow like that how he 
approach, especially the American players, you found ways and just expressing your ideas, but also understanding the player, what the player is thinking at that moment. And then you kind of build a, with each player different, you, you connect different to, for example, it was like a Sonny Williams and Teodosic on the same team. So you, you connect with both of them differently, but you, yeah, yeah. as an assistant, you have to find out of what makes you click and how you get on that, but you have to have also knowledge because players respect knowledge. So if you don't have the knowledge of the game, there's only there's only one that certain level you can go to. Uh, no, with I, the... Absolutely. Fully agree. Fully agree.